Good morning. It's me, Kathy. Um, doing things with leftovers like I do. I had some leftover macaroni from the macaroni and cheese. I had some leftover peppers from the pineapple salsa that we made. So I decided to make my American chop suey. And it's also called goulash. My mother-in-law used to make it with tomato soup and Velveeta. And it was awesome, but I had to change it up for real people who want to eat real food. So anyway, I made the video and I put the recipe on the website and it came out totally delicious and there's a secret. You gotta watch the video to find out what it is. Have fun. We're gonna start with our ingredients today to make our chop suey. We got some peppers, some onions, some elbow macaroni, some ground beef, some tomato sauce. And the secret ingredient is macaroni and cheese, just a little bit. Now, if you don't have the macaroni and cheese, you can use you know, a handful of cheddar or a little bit of American or whatever. But we're gonna brown the beef in a skillet. I didn't take a picture of the beef when it was browned, but uh, it's there. We're gonna drain that. And in the same pan, we're gonna add our peppers and onions and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna throw in a sprinkle of oregano and a little bit of basil into our pan. <clears throat> we're gonna stir that up to blend and we're gonna cook that until the peppers are slightly tender and the onion is a little translucent. It looks good. Then we're gonna add in our drained ground beef And we're going to stir that to blend. Mix up all those peppers, onions, and beef. Now we're going to add a jar of spaghetti sauce. The spaghetti sauce that I used was pretty thick, so I stirred it up and it was a little too thick for my taste. So. I added some beef broth. I made it with the better and bullion and some water according to the package directions. It needs to be a little bit thin because the macaroni is going to absorb all the liquid. So you don't want it too sticky. So you're going to add the macaroni and cheese and the macaroni. And if you don't have the macaroni and cheese again, you can throw in a little handful of cheddar or American Parmesan, if that's what your taste is, you know, whatever you have in the, in the refrigerator. And you're going to stir that up, and you're going to keep stirring it till the cheese melts. Probably about 10, 15 minutes. But now it's ready to eat and enjoy it.